Hello YouTube. I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, it's not really the best filming scenario, but I wanted to make a video today. Um, talking about this, a little update on it. Now keep in mind, this does get used a lot. I'm not a professional professional mechanic by say, but I work at a junkyard. I rip parts off of junk cars every day. This thing gets to work out five days a week, and then whatever I do on the weekend, it gets to work out usually most weekends too. Um, and I've had it probably about three months now. Um, now with my channel, every review I do, anything I say to you guys is 100% just my opinion and honest. I do not want to have this channel get to where I'm doing videos and oh yeah this tool is the best tool ever guys and blah de blah de blah. No it's not. <clears throat> I want to be 100% real with you guys just like I am in real life. Like there's no point in talking stuff up that doesn't deserve to be talked up. Now on that. That brings up this impact. Is this impact on its last legs? I noticed when a couple last times that I've been using it. It doesn't always sound the best. Now, I guess I should have warned you guys about headphones. Um, but you can tell it's used. I mean, the nose cone is separated a little bit right there. It is definitely full of rust on the front, um, and that could be a lot of it. Now, I cannot remember if this piece used to move or not. If any of you guys have this out there, let me know. Is your guys' free on the end? My Dewalt, I used to be able to spin. Um, it'd move. I can't remember if this one was like that when I got it or not. Um, but yeah, this could be on its last legs, and I wanted to just make this video, and give you guys some um, real time, I want to say evidence, but that's not the word, but real time data of what's going on and how things are going with it, um, since I made the last video about it. Yeah, hopefully it kind of works itself out, because I do like this impact, it is pretty powerful, I guess time will tell. If this takes a sh decides to actually go out on me, um, let me know what you guys use out there. What are your guys' thoughts? I'm thinking, I mean, I got good luck with the Dewalt, but a lot of my Dewalt stuff, especially the batteries and a few of my other more used tools like the Sawzall and the Grinder are starting to kind of go on their last legs. I was going to fully invest in the rigid line, but if this is having issues on me if this goes out I'm not really gonna do that um I thought about giving the snap on one a shot let me know what you guys thoughts are on it um if anybody has one of these what, what are your thoughts on it how's it done for you have you ever had this issue has it recovered from it I'm open to everybody's thoughts and opinions but I just wanted to put this out there and let you guys know what's going on with it. Hopefully it's not on its last legs, but it kind of sounds like it is. Alright, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.